Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and as many of, of my uh, subscribers know for the last two and a half years or more I've been flying a Bebop, Bebop 2 and uh, you, if you've been following you know that right off the bat I found out that I <laughs> the, the Bebop battery charger was not really a, a, a LiPo balance charger and uh, having worked with LiPo batteries in my model airplanes and so forth uh, it was obvious that uh, after I got the flashing red light that it wasn't balancing those three cells and so I came up with all kinds of gadgets and everything and finally found where I could get that high rose plug that would fit into the uh, the Bebop battery <clears throat> and uh, put up a uh, video on how to build your balance cable that you could connect to a a real balance charger and uh, and then uh, get your battery uh, all three cells in your Bebop battery get them all equally charged before it said okay everything is charged up and I put that I put that up and then I got a lot of requests to uh, make those and and put them available on the internet so I did and I've been doing that and they're still available by the way if you're still flying your Bebop and want a balanced uh, cable so you can hook it up to a balanced charger but uh, because of all my activities with that uh, and then my son gave me a Mavic 2 Zoom recently and a lot of other the, of the uh, Bebop family have upgraded to the B, to the uh, Mavic uh, drones and uh, excuse me <clears throat> and so um, the I got have had so far I've had three requests to come up with a balanced cable for the Mavic uh, batteries <laughs> and uh, and uh, so I did I, I did the same thing that uh, everybody else can do I got on the internet and I started doing some research and sure enough the Mavic uh, battery has a built-in real honest to goodness balance charger and uh, so what it does is as the uh, as the uh, cells get uh, up to the point that they're supposed to be to which in a Mavic 2 uh, battery is uh, 4.35 volts uh, per cell and uh, so when it gets up to that point it stops charging that cell and continues charging the rest of them until they all get up to 3.5 volts that's a balanced charger you say well how could they have that inside of a inside of a uh, battery <laughs> well uh, if you take a look at my hearing aid uh, it's got it's got circuitry in it in a little chip whereas I can connect through Bluetooth I can connect it to my to my smartphone and uh, from my phone I can I can change the uh, uh, the tone you know the highs and the lows in each diff each ear and uh, control the volume and uh, make it change places when I move from one place to if I go to the shopping center uh, it adjusts it for listening uh, better listening there and so that's all in one little chip so it's not that difficult to put a balance charging chip inside of a inside of a battery uh, for your Mavic 2 or your Mavics so <clears throat> what DJI did is they put that in there and if you take a close look at uh, <laughs> from your uh, they, they make it look like it's real uh, fancy circuitry but uh, they just feed 12 volts into that thing and uh, then the 12 volts or the 17 volts or whatever it is on the Mavic 2 because it's a four cell battery anyway they just feed that much in there and then uh, the the uh, balance charger uh, takes care of it now the rest of this video I'm going to uh, show you some studies some experiments uh, with my battery and uh, maybe help you understand a little better so uh, we'll move on to the uh, the actual uh, tests that I ran but you already have a balanced charger in your in your Mavic 2 battery and there's no need to come up with an exterior <laughs> ex external charger that's going to try to balance those cells because it's already there you bought it when you bought your uh, when you bought your drone all right so let's move on well after going through the internet and looking at other people's uh, videos and some of the things that I 
uh, wanted to see. I learned a few things. And so sitting in the house, I decided I'd go in and make some adjustments on uh, on my uh, battery settings. So uh, you just go up and uh, you can just tap on the, uh, the battery thing up there on the top. Uh, and uh, that'll take you into the battery uh, functions. And so <clears throat> you'll notice now, I'm going to pause the video right there. And uh, you notice that uh, we have a total voltage of 17.2 and uh, the individual cells are not up to 4.35 volts because this, uh, this battery had been uh, sitting on the shelf for probably four or five days. I think probably the last time I used it, uh, this is Tuesday and I think I used it on a Saturday and then recharged it. So anyway, um, that that's uh, why they're not totally charged up. And as you can see, uh, 26.3 degrees centigrade is uh, how, how uh, warm it is. Uh, that's the battery temperature. And uh, I'm going to have a con I have a conversion chart that I'm going to make available, and you can just have it on your uh, you can download it on it'll be a PDF file you can download onto your tablet or your phone, and uh, see what kind of temperature that really is. Here in Arizona, that's an important factor. And uh, <clears throat> then, all right, so we go down the list, and down. Uh, you, the smart return home button is an important one. I wouldn't change the critical uh, battery warning or the low battery warning, but the smart return home is is an important uh, thing to have turned on. Down at the uh, the next one down is to show the voltage of the lowest cell on the uh, on the page on the uh, main screen, and that's kind of important. So I turn that on. And uh, uh, then uh, I was pretty much finished setting everything up. Up on the top uh, of the main screen, there's the, uh, the voltage of the lower cell. And then also, uh, you can go into the uh, uh, settings further and see how many flights this battery has had and so forth. And part of the thing, the, all the other plugs on the battery you know that I said uh, it looks pretty complicated those plugs are used they're used for um, uh, storage you know from between the bat the uh, drone and the battery uh, that's how Comet knew I'd flown so many so many flights and the history and so forth so those other prongs are are important all right so then the next thing that I did was to put in a used battery and you'll notice its voltage is 15.2 and uh, the temperatures, uh, it, it, I w all that was room temperature and all the settings are still the same except you'll notice there's a little different flight time, uh, number of flights on that. And so I got everything where I wanted and uh, I could see the difference in the battery voltage and I decided, all right, I'm going to take this baby outside and see what it looks like when it's flying. So here I am getting set up outside in my driveway and uh, I'm uh, going to uh, go take a look at my battery here as soon as I get everything ready. And as you can see, uh, I've still got the, that same battery, the same good battery. It's at 17.2 uh, volts and everything else is the same and uh, kind of keep an eye on the temperature of the battery all right so that's 28.8 to begin with and uh, it's starting to warm up maybe because it's in the sun oh the props and the props drop the voltage from uh, t down to 17.1 just starting the props now we're taking off and notice how the voltage drops down considerably and the centigrade temperature begins to climb and uh, so uh, that's just hovering. I'm not going anywhere or doing anything. And uh, as the battery is being used, the the big change that we see is uh, the cent centigrade temperature going up. And there's a slight change in the voltage. And then I look over here and I can see the lowest voltage of the cell, uh, the lowest cell voltage of the four cells. And... Uh, uh, 
my uh, time left to fly that's being calculated and so now I come back down and I think probably what I'm going to do when I get down is I'm going uh, I hope I remembered I'm going to take a look at the battery and I'm going to do it from now on nope I didn't do it that time I just go, went ahead and uh, shut things off and uh, then I changed batteries and I put the used battery in that was about half charged that I used in the house and you can see that I'm down to 15.2 volts total and uh, lower voltage per cell of course and the temperature is 26.5 degrees centigrade everything's the same and I'm gonna uh, take off so watch that voltage drop now as I go up and as you can see uh, <laughs> it gets down to uh, pretty close to 13 point I'm sorry <laughs> 4 point 3 no 3 point 3 point 5 is about as low as you want to get and those cells are getting way down there really close and you'll notice that maneuver it's maneuvering horizontally with the uh, with the uh, drone yawing doesn't use fat batteries uh, very fast and doesn't heat things up very much very rapidly but I'm gonna drop down and <clears throat> then I decide well I wanna I wanna watch these uh, individual battery levels a little closer so now I'm gonna take off I'm gonna climb rapidly and you notice that the when it turns red that's because the 3.5 voltage minimum has been uh, passed and so uh, we uh, I'm flying not dangerously but it is a low battery and so uh, it uh, it's gonna show a little more warning and the uh, temperature keeps going up and uh, when I turn off the motor everything comes back to a higher voltage what happens is in a in a uh, electrical circuit if you run a wire between the positive and negative that's a short circuit but if you run a motor or a light bulb or something between the positive and negative that does some work and it's not a short circuit but it's a slightly short circuit because uh, there's still a wire that goes between the positive and negative it goes into the motor or it goes into a light bulb but it, there's still a wire there and that's kind of a short circuit so uh, anyway that's the uh, that's the test that I made outside well finally with a uh, Mavic 2 battery each cell uh, when fully charged is at a f about 4.35 volts and you don't want it to go below 3.5 volts and uh, when you take the, the the range compared to the voltage of the battery is less than a volt uh, it's 0.85 volts uh, from but if you subtract 3.5 from 4.35 so that's less than a volt and when it gets less than a volt uh, or when it gets more than a volt discharge then it starts to ruin the battery which when you're looking at a 4 volt battery uh, it just doesn't you don't want to discharge it very far and you know that kind of like uh, makes us wonder well what's what's the difference if you've been around like me and you've got worked with uh, flashlight batteries that had a 1.5 volt range well when it dropped down to about 0.5 volts the battery the flashlight wasn't very useful and the same thing with a lead acid battery it's got about a 2 volt uh, range or 2 volt uh, cell value and when uh, like if you had a 12 volt car in your car with all with uh, uh, the, all the cells and uh, if each cell drops a volt uh, then you've got a six volt battery and that's probably not going to start the car so that little bit of range is pretty typical for all batteries <clears throat> one other thing my son gave me the uh, go for uh, extra fly uh, thing so I've got the three batteries and so I put little dots on them and I, I try to cycle them so that uh, I each one gets about the same number of flights charges and discharges and so forth and so if you have more than one battery I'd suggest trying to do that instead of just uh, using one all the time and because the, the, you know the more you use them the more they get uh, they get uh, they get old uh, one other thing um, when I'm through uh, flying 
I usually leave one of the batteries if if it's about half halfway charged. I just leave it sit. I don't put it on the charger or anything because that's about where it likes to be when it's resting. So I usually have a fully charged one in my drone, a fully charged one in my Go Fly Pack, and then that third one I don't carry it around. I just leave it sitting, and then when when I go fly, then I charge it up. And then uh, also I've got the uh, the temperature uh, scale uh, for you to download. It's a PDF file, and uh, it's at Mr. Kent Don dot com forward slash dji forward slash temp table and i'll put a link to that but anyway that'll come in handy i if you have it on your on your uh, tablet and then if you can't if you're from the u.s and celsius temperatures don't seem to make a lot of sense uh it could come in handy so anyway i want to thank you for watching this video i hope it's been helpful and uh, god bless you